you got to dare. You have to be courageous. If success was easy, anybody would do it. But it takes every gut out of you. Sometimes you have to go all the way to your shoes and pull it out. But if you give yourself no chance at all, no chance to back out and make up your mind and you say, this is my destiny. I'm not backing out. You fall, you get up. You fall, you get up. You will get there. But if you're easily swayed by the people in your area, it won't happen. And it's unfortunate, but not only that the people in our circle are discouraging us, sometimes we discourage ourselves, right? They are <laughs> the lady in front says they are jealous. That's definitely one of the reasons. Um, so please do not give fear any chance at all because don't let fear stop you from your destiny. Your destiny is too great to let fear kill you being successful. Unfortunately, there's a lot of negativity in this world. It was Dr. Hemsetter who did research. He said by the time a child gets to be 16 years of age, he would have heard or she would have heard 147,000 times, no, you cannot do that. No, you cannot be that. So is it any surprise that we are afraid to do things? We were told 147,000 times. And MIT did a study that in order to counteract that, get rid of that our, our mind, just one of them, it takes 17 times. So you multiply 17 by 147,000, that is gonna take a lot of positivity to put into our lives. That's why I listen every morning to a positive talk and every evening, because I cannot take enough positive to balance out all the negative that surrounds us. Another statistic also said 87% of our own self-talk, now we're talking about us, talking to us, is negative. We are our own enemy at times. We talk ourselves out of our own dream. There is an African proverb that says, if there is no enemy on the inside, the enemy outside can do us no harm. So the negative talk is really important. In my home, I have a sign that says, I love, I love myself. I am beautiful. I am a fabulous motivational speaker. And I see that every single day. What do you think happens every day? I see that in the morning. So when I go out, I feel that way. I love myself. I am beautiful. Even when I have a bad hair day, I still tell myself that. <laughs> I am a fabulous speaker. Pretty soon I believe it. Pretty soon I act it. So you got to input motivational talk every day to you whenever you get a chance. Um, Alan Bean is one of the first people who went to the moon. He was listening to motivational talk on the way to the moon and back to the moon. H.L. Hunt, the oil billionaire, he had an estimated value worth of $3.5 billion. He listened to motivational talks until he was well over 80. Let me tell you, uh, or ask you, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the moon, if you made billions of dollars, would you still need to listen to motivational talk? Exactly. Somebody said, huh, was that you, Chris? Exactly, exactly. Because when you know how this whole thing works, when you know how your passion works, when you know how your destiny works, when you know about your potential, it's limitless. 3.5 doesn't cut it. The moon doesn't cut it. So you keep on going. There's no stopping when it comes to self-mastery. You keep on thriving to be more and to do more. You see, in life, there are going to be car breakdowns. There are going to be disappointments. There are going to be relationship um, heartaches, right? There are going to be bankruptcies. So we have two choices. We can spend all the time getting mad about the things that disappointed us, or we can say, how can we solve it and move on? Because your time is so valuable. You cannot afford to invest it on things that don't make sense, that already happened. Your energy is so important. You cannot afford to spend it on that. Your energy is like money in the bank. If you have $3,000, you take $10 and buy Twinkies, they withdraw $10 just as much as they would if you bought organic apple. They don't care. The bank doesn't care. The same thing with your energy. I could spend it on getting mad at the dealer or whatever caused it, or spend it on something that gets me closer to my goal. 
So when you get upset or when you spend your energy on something that doesn't get you to your goal, stop yourself right there and say, no, this is not getting me any closer to where I want to be and move on. So uh, I want to encourage you to listen to motivational talks because I will help you every day to dwell on positive things. The next step we're going to talk about is invest your time wisely. How many of you believe how you spend one dollar would affect your total net worth? Yes, thank you so much. Um, so maybe, Daniel. Daniel is right. Because one dollar gets to be ten, right? Ten gets to be hundred, hundred gets to be a thousand. And it's the same thing with our time. 15 minutes on Twitter, 15 minutes on Facebook, half an hour talking to a girl about things that don't even matter. That's one hour. <laughs> During that hour, I could have read a book that improves my skill or that would motivate me. I could have cooked healthy food that's good for my health or workout. So we need to be very greedy, so to speak, with our time. How do you take care of your time? I think scheduling is the best way. I schedule everything from the, you agree? From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep. Why? Because it is very easy to respond to someone's email, to respond to someone's text, to respond to someone's phone calls, and I forget to work on Sihin. Warren Buffett said the best investment is myself, right? You're shaking your head. You have to. So what you want to do is write down what you want to do. I put down everything. When I'm eating, when I'm going to the gym, when I'm listening to the motivational talk, because that's what makes me who I am. So it's very important you put down what you want to do. And at the end of the day, I check. Have I had a glass of water? Have I taken my supplements? Because I have to take care of myself first and foremost. One thing to save time is live an organized life. Just a, a few days ago, I read that the average person spends, believe it or not, 80 hours a year looking for lost items. Car keys, <laughs> I hear a sound of a conviction somewhere here. Uh, car keys, cards, do you agree? Do, that, does that happen to you? Anybody? Like some honest people here. Yeah, but 80 hours, you know what that means? That's two, two weeks of paycheck or vacation. So get organized. Have a place for everything you have. Your home is a sanctuary, it needs to be organized. The thing about those 80 hours, it's not only that you wasted those hours, but when you look for them, you're, you're frustrated, right? That's negative energy. So be organized about your time. Your time is very, very important. If you want to live an extraordinary life, know your passion, embrace who you are, never compare yourself to someone else, design your life, embrace failure because it's part of the success story, journey, avoid negativity, and embrace positive thinking, and invest your time wisely. You have been a beautiful audience. Go and live an extraordinary life.